Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. So glad you guys are here. We have a very special video, guys. This is gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, first off, if you're new, my name is Silky Creamy. I do niche reviews uh, for shaving products and also other skincare products. Um, for those that are returning, I appreciate all of your support. If you subscribed, um, you're just simply sexier and better. That's it. You're just simply sexier and better. And if you haven't realized that yet, you are so close. But many of you have realized that, and that's why you keep coming back. And so, anyway, I, I appreciate all of you. Um, so, kick back, relax. I'm going to try and keep this video under 10 minutes. Um, it may go a little bit over just because of the quality of this product and the uniqueness of this product. And so, um, yeah, let's get cracking. So, today we are going to be reviewing a soap from France. And it is Martin de Condre. And so, I was not familiar with Martin de Condre until maybe a month ago. Um, and I didn't realize um, what kind of products he makes and this brand and this brand is known for really really high-end products so this uh, it looks like 1974 is when he started doing his work so this is a very special soap and um, we're going to be reviewing this is what they call l'original shaving soap in the wooden bowl 200 grams and this is how it is uh, shipped i could not find this on the razor company and this is where i picked it up from so i don't know if they're currently out and they're just w waiting for a restock from martin de Condre for this product to make it over the atlantic over the pond to the United States, or if he's not making this anymore. Um, but I believe that it is, um, you could definitely buy it um, off a European website um, and then just uh, pay for the shipping from uh, international. But anyway, um, let's take a look. So it comes in this, um, you know, like a gift wrapping paper. Um, and so he's got his print on the outside, which is pretty nice. And you got this burgundy colored uh, wrapping paper here. And then on the outside, it says Savon et Laser. So I think this just means uh, shaving cream. Martin de Condre. And this is all in French, which I don't understand. So there you are. There you have it, folks. I don't know what French is. I can't read that. But I will have um, the website pulled up, which I will read after. So let's go ahead and open this up. So it has this nice uh, straw tie around it. And I think I may have to at this hope you guys are doing well I'm really excited about this guy and I'm gonna make sure I don't slice my finger okay. I don't want to slice the finger all right I think we got it Open this up. There we go. There we have it. So, the size of it this fits in your palm of your hand. So, it is not too big. Um, but it does have some weight to it. Oh, what does this say? This is all in French. Oh, here we are. So how to use, so let's first open this up. There it is. So this is like a wax paper, parchment, butcher paper, waxy. 
oh, falling over. And here it is, guys. Wow, look at that. All its glory. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Very clean too, right? This is a polished wood. Very cool. Turn this over. Oh. oh, nice. So let me do this. So it's their logo in the metal. I'm glad they put this here so you can grab it. Very nice. On the back, 200 grams. Martin de Condre. Steric acid, potassium. All right, so this is vegan. As you can see, the bowl is like a really nice bowl. It's like polished. And you can see the... Um, the ridges um, or the character of the wood. Wow. The soap is on there. Yeah, so this is firm, but you can see I'm pointing, like, let's say, like, um, let me pick a spot where you guys can see. So like you can see this ridge right here. So I can push down on it. There's no residue. It's a hard soap. Let's do our first smell. Um, okay, so scent strength, this is, I would say mild, like a, maybe a four. off the bowl <laughs> I can't say off the puck uh, or off the top off the bowl it's a yeah I would say this is a four maybe a five but it's um, got a um, like lavender I can smell lavender and then like um, I don't know if there's a little bit of meth on here and there's some mint maybe, but that's subtle. It's a very subtle um, scent. It has a beautiful lavender scent though. Um, I've never smelled a lavender like this. Hmm, actually smells really good. I wonder how this uh, smells lathered up. Probably it's going to be a little bit stronger. So maybe it'll be a five when you lather it. Anyway, really nice, uh, nicely done um, product. So let me go ahead and read from the website. Um, so Martin uh, De Condre, uh, original shaving soap, wooden bowl, 200 grams. Saponification made with heat action in the traditional way in Martin De Condre Atelier with 100% vegetable and potash oils. Thanks to its 40 years of experience, they guarantee a perfected process. This process allows excellent keeping of the soap without needing any conservatives or preservatives. A luxurious, efficient, and long-lasting product. In this case, the soap has not been flattened, which means that it keeps its natural aspect. The same qualities of the original soap without the smoothing process. Uh, it's soft and delicate fragrance with a base of lavender, mint, and rosemary essential oils gives a light and refreshing feel that will last throughout the day. It also contains a wide variety of beneficial properties, hydrates, calms, and soothes the skin. It is suitable for any skin type. It generates a rich lather with a small quantity. The original shaving soap is presented in a traditional and elegant beach, that's B-E-E-C-H, wooden bowl, 
of 200 grams, handmade in La Jardin, made in France. So there you have it, folks. So it is um, pretty cool because you can hold it, right? Grip the side, and then you can lather. So it's not a huge bowl, even though it is a lot of soap. Um, I mean, obviously there's a lot of soap, um, but it is um, manageable, if you know what I mean, right? It just fits nicely in the hand. So anyway, let me put this down here. Let's take a look at this. Uh, you will need a badger hair shaving brush. Any shave would begin with a uh, face that is clean and warm voice. Interesting, it says you will need. Place a small amount of shaving cream on the tip of the center of the brush. The advantage of flicking the excess water away is that you don't waste any shaving soap as it remains dry after use. Create lather, either lather cream onto face using a circular make sure that not to add too much water though, as it will create more, quote, slime than lather. The foam will immediately cling to the face, to the face and, the and, the, and the massage with the brush will prepare the skin for the shave. Or use a warm shaving bowl, get rid of the excess water, lather gently using swift uh, badger hair. Create a shave with the ultimate feeling of softness and well-being. Do not hesitate to apply it either twice or three times. With that amount of soap, I, I agree. You don't need to worry about that. To make your shaving soap last longer, don't enclose it. The more natural air it has, the drier it becomes. If your shaving soap is very damp after shaving, place the container facing down for it to dry thoroughly. Yeah, I would think you'd be able to put like a paper towel on there to kind of, you know, dab it um yeah i'm gonna for this when i use it i'm going to bowl lather it once well i guess first of all, what i'll do is i'll take off a little bit and then i'll lather it in my lather bowl and then try it and then the second time i'll do it i'll no you know what i'm just gonna lather it in my lather bowl i don't want to spoil the look of this who knows i may get this away at some point anyway folks martin de Conjure. Some Americans call it the brain bowl because um, it looks like a brain. I think it's more of a, uh, I would call this, um, you know, soap bowl. It almost looks like, a, what do you call that, popcorn enlarged. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, um, take care of one another. Lift each other up, okay? I see some things that, you know, some people, they feel like they need to be right or they feel like there's only a certain way to do things or, you know, um, hey, there's plenty of room in this community for everybody. There is no correct way to do things. There's ways that people prefer, but there's no correct way. And um, we need to lift each other up. We learn from each other. Everyone is different and unique and special, and that's what makes this community awesome. So, as always, please take care and stay sexy, stay better, and always be kind to one another. Peace.